start by reading, Pierre? Read. I was with a group, and we were on this trip to, I don't remember, and we were on this bus that took us to some eco-community. We drove down the driveway. We all get out and start walking down this pathway. The path seemed open, and, we get f and as we get further, it starts to get filled with kids and people, and eventually mud and alligators and crocodiles. We get to a point where one of the host leaders holds back, and there's a huge crocodile blocking the path. So I start to try to see if I can navigate around it and realize that between the mud and additional crocodiles, there is no way. So I pull back, look for an alternate path, and I'm huddled with this group of people all trying to go down the same path. And we decide to turn back. And at the end of the dream, we were talking that it was the most dangerous school. What do you make of such a dream? Um, I reflected on it, and there was a goal. Mm -hmm. um, Good. I couldn't completely remember. That's where the dot, dot, dot is in terms of the final destination. But we made it to the eco community, and we had the ambition to go down the path. The path ended up being muddy and full of crocodiles mm -hmm. and alligators. Mm -hmm. And so we held back. <coughs> and I looked around to see if there was any path other than the path that we were being led down. And there wasn't. And so we just turned back. No. No. What do you see interesting about it? Um, In the dream, one aspect of that was interesting in the dream were the alligators and the crocodiles were there, but there was no sense of harm. Mm -hmm. they, they weren't threatening, but they were there mm -hmm. and totally dominating the path mm -hmm. in the mud <clears throat> to the point where we, we couldn't cross, no. you couldn't pass them. Is there any interesting contrast going on there or not? I mean, the first half of the dream, everything was going smoothly. The eco community, the drive to the eco community was open and. No, no. Yeah, and then the path down, I remember the, 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 the building that the eco community was like a hay bale, like adobe mud, and all that was all clear. Yeah. And then once we passed that, mm -hmm. that building was where the mud and the crocodiles were. Yeah, true, true. So, um, how are you functioning? <clears throat> In the dream. I wasn't the formal leader, but I was among the leaders. What? I wasn't the primary leader, but I was among the leaders. Like there were others in our group, and we were leading. Uh, remember that Chinese expression? So what? Yeah, yeah, stay in it. Are you seeing the host leader? Yeah. What is the host leader doing? Uh, at that point? He holds back. Huh? He holds back. He oh, pauses. what does that mean? He was the first to get a glimpse of the, of the mud and the alligators and crocodiles. And then once he paused, that's when I... What did you do to see that he was holding back in the dream? Oh, he literally stopped. Stop. He stopped in his tracks. Yes, what did you do? What did you do? What did it do to you in the dream to see that he was holding back? Um, 
Well, it, it, it woke me up. Oh, woke you up. Yeah, more. What did it do? Um, huh. Uh -huh. It, uh, it, it then put me more in an active role. That's right. You became what? Yeah, I, stood, I took his place. You took his place. Yeah. Right? The host leader is the most, the highest post. Yeah. And he's holding back. You see that, and that woke you up. So what? In waking up, what did you do? Yeah, I went to the front and sur surveyed right? the area. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And what he saw was there. He saw that there was no, there's no going further. It, the mud was so thick, yeah. and it was just pure mud and crocodiles and alligators. Yeah. And the alligators and crocodiles were shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Came to a conclusion. Um, yeah, after looking for alternate paths, we came to the conclusion that... We, we or you? I did. Right. Yeah. You're the leader. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's turn back. Go on, right, go back. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Well, there was, there was more talk once we got back to the building, the eco-community building. And then that's where I remember I woke up to the memory of saying that that was the most dangerous school. Right, right. Because somehow the eco-community also included a right. school. Right, right, right. So what did you do about it in the dream? In the dream, it didn't, there was no sense of a loss. Like right. the, no alarm, that's yeah. right. It's just a matter of fact. Yeah. Right. So, um, give yourself a, uh, like, let's give him a grave. How's he doing? Yeah, I, I, he's doing good. What? He's doing good. He's doing good? What's the, the host what, leader? How's he doing? Uh, As a leader. I think he's doing good. He's doing good. I think you're right or wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, what is his conclusion? What, is, what do you see about him? He holds back, but your conclusion is not to hold back, but to do what? To look for alternate paths. Go back. Ah. Uh, How's he doing? He'd still be there. Yeah, he would be. He didn't act, yeah. What grade are you going to give him? Oh, yeah, he's not. He, there's room for improvement. He gets like a C. Oh, you like the guy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> C means. What? What is C? Well, I said there's room yeah. for improvement. What? There's room for improvement. He could have done more. He could have done better. Yeah, that starts from B to F. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you reluctant to put a grade on him? Um, In the dream. Why? Huh. I think it's based on a prior reflection that his seeing and mine were the same. But now yeah, that and that's why he, he came to the conclusion, no. let's hold back, and you decided to go back. Yeah, no, he didn't. No, 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 no. Hmm. Um, having trouble grading? I can see now. He, why? If you if he was pause, and yeah, he, it's an F. An F? Yeah. What does it take to get you to put an F on this dude? Seeing him inactive, not, not, 
just holding back and that's it. Ah. Uh, do, do you know Brad? I do. He has a whole theory how you have to understand someone in terms of the way in which they function. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. Now, how are you functioning? Good. Yeah. 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 Give a grade? An A. Oh, by the way, did you tell them that uh, there's some consequence <laughs> follows from making the judgment that this is the most dangerous school? Huh. Huh? Some consequence follows. I didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, let me do that again. Oh. Yeah, oh. in the dream. How are you doing as a leader? Well, yeah. Yeah, analysis seems pretty good. Yeah. How about acting on the uh, analysis? I did. Oh, and that's why uh, It looks like it's going to remain where it is. Mm. Yeah. In the dream, yeah. I had the sense that, and I didn't express it, but I had the sense that the conditions would change and that path would be accessible. Yeah, things would change, like they'd uh, send the crocodiles back to school. <laughs> <or>? <laughs> In the dream, is there any evidence that there might be a change? Or is that no. a wish or a desire? No, there is no evidence. <laughs> but it, it, was, it was somewhere in the dream hmm. that this was a temporary condition. No. So you're not acting on this. No. Therefore, this may continue in other dreams. Yeah. It's incomplete. That was my sense on the dream. Right. That's why I wrote the second one. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So let's see if we can get somewhere with a second. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, there were two shape-shifting, transforming, metal, chrome robots that transformed into many shapes and played dynamically with each other through various shapes. Everything from robot-looking shapes to geometric shapes to even animals and related. It was almost some form of communication where they were relating as organic and familial and romantic and animal courtship and in the end they said something that they needed to relate with respect and several other classes of relating that I didn't remember. Yeah, um, I like their role in that. Yeah, none. No! <laughs> none! Yeah, on, on reflection of the dream yeah. I, I was... Like you weren't in it. No, I was uh, just witnessing it. Yeah, just witnessing it. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't see yourself witnessing it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you make of this rather interesting dream? It was very bizarre. Um, I don't know if it was conveyed in these words, but it, it was as if they had that negative magnetic polarity, so they weren't ever touching, but they were always like ultra close mm -hmm. and playing mm -hmm. dynamically with each other, transforming through like robotic and all of these yeah. shapes. Yeah. It, was, it, was, yeah, it was strange that the, the only meaning that I was, I wanted more of what their, see, look, what they see. said. You're looking. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is what you are seeing. Yeah. That's the dream. Right, but you're the watcher of it all. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of it now that you've seen it all? <coughs> uh, is it possible you might agree, disagree, indifferent, uh, not? What, what, what's it do to you? What does it do to you to observe this? What effect does this dream have on you? While it was happening, I thought it was the most startling and at times beautiful, like almost masterful work of art. It, it seemed as though it was almost like a, like a, like a performance art of these nebulous, yeah. transforming 
objects. Yeah. So give a grade to this creation. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, but there was a sense of so what at the end of it. What? There was a sense of a so what at the end of it. Like they were going through this incredible dynamic yeah. show. Yeah, 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 go ahead. And? And while I was watching it, I was, I was struck by it, but it, even like at the end and upon reflection, it was kind of like a so what. In the dream was the so what? Mm. Or when you got out of the dream, it was so what? I think it was out. Yeah, I think it was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's okay. come on. What's going on? By the way, uh, most striking, masterful, transformative, creative, yeah. right? Yeah. Ideal or not? Uh, yeah, beyond is... What, what, what? <laughs> Almost like beyond ideal. I've never seen Almost anything. beyond ideal. Yeah. I'll write that down. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Let's give it a grade. Yeah, when I was in Almost it, it was... Almost beyond creation. Yeah, nothing... Right, it's so splendid. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What grade did you give it? It's an A. Oh, good, yeah. good, 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 good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was just fooling around. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, what did you find admirable about uh, what they were doing and what they were looking for? Yeah, that's where the so what comes in. Um, they were just playing. The two, the two objects were just playing. What? They were just playing. No. Yeah, that's what it appeared so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like your dream. How do you describe it? The communication? Hmm? Some form of communication? Yeah, some kind. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Um. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, what do they want out of this bag? What do they want? Come on. What is their, what, is, what do they want? They needed to relate with respect. Oh, what do they want? The, it, it says they needed to relate with respect. Yeah, that's good. Does that mean they may lack it, but then they need it because they don't have it? Yeah, oh, there were times where it came off like as a clash. Yeah. It was as if they were relating in a... a oh, this could also be said to be a clash. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but also romantic. Like, they were relating in so many different ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, now you have to do the same thing. Now that that's added, what does it mean to you? I was left with a question. Yeah, okay. So I'm not familiar with this word. Will you explain it for me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What is it? In terms of the dream, what's... What, what? It was the dynamic interaction between the two objects. Okay, like whatever they are, there's what? A dynamic interaction mm -hmm. between them. Is that right? Mm -hmm. There were only two, but yeah. What? There were only two, but yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So, it's, it's the interaction. And they're interested in modes of relating, is that right? Yeah. Uh, 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 they, uh. they exhibited all the different modes of relating. Pardon? They exhibited a myriad of modes of relating. And they want now, even though they have that past, what do they want? They yeah. need what? Respect, and then they listed like two or three other things. Like her, they want respect. And, and there were several other things I don't remember. And more relating. Is that what the end is? Several other classes of relating yeah. on, on the class of respect. Yeah, yeah like, okay. If and they, say, wanted to, they want to get involved in these other yeah. classes of relating. Yeah. 
Ja, ja das ist geil. Ja. Uh, I still don't know what you mean by relating. Um. Uh, what do they? What do they appear to be interested in in terms of the drama of the dream? Show. Hmm? It was like a show. Show. Yeah. It was very. Performers. It was very, yeah, very dramatic. Dramatic performers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and uh, being dramatic performers, they're interested in alternate modes or classes of relating. Mm -hmm. uh, is that consistent with their being, as it were, actors, performers? If, well, what do you, I mentioned performance art, but they were nebulous. They weren't human beings or even any... But you did say they become human, didn't you? No, no, no. Animal. Animal, yeah. In the end, they were animal. Yeah, yeah. Familiar. Yeah. Familiar was the type of relating, as if it was like brother or sister. To even animals and related. Well, anim is... animal courtship. Okay, how do you want to, how do you want to correct me? Well, you said animals and related, but it was animal courtship. One of the ways the two things were relating were the animal to, courtship. Yeah. 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 Animal courtship. Yeah. 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 Again, uh, is that all there is, or is there anything more to communication other than? Relating and finding other classes of relating. If you were to ask me, that's, that's all it is. Just that's that's a. Oh, there was more that they could have communicated. What? They didn't. But there's. If the question is, is there more they could have yeah. communicated? Yeah. Well, yeah. How are they doing? Um. I'd say a D. Oh, uh, what grade? A D. D. Yeah. Good heavens. Another D? Hmm. Huh. An F and a D? Or two Ds? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, what would you say is therefore a missing? That is, that's one way in which people and anything else relate, right? Different ways of relating, including courtship and all these other ways. What's missing? By the way, do they have a self? Not to my knowledge. The, it, it was as if they were like artificial intelligence. No soul. No, no. No soul. No soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that now? Come on now, you got two dreams like one. There's a certain similarity between them, isn't it? There is. That's why I'm wondering if I'll have another dream tonight. That's true, but uh, <laughs> is there some lack of doing in the first dream? Completion of doing. Yeah, yeah, and you don't decide since it is the most dangerous, not only get out of here, but let's close the joint out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here you're an observer. Yeah. But all of these things, they ain't got no self, right? Yeah, no. They're just AIs, right? Yeah. Artificial intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And as well as they're doing, it's important to know what they're leaving out. Yeah. What is that? 
The logos. Logos, love. There's higher forms of, of higher well, forms of relating than that. Strictly speaking, come on. If you stay with the language, mm -hmm. what they're not interested in doing is knowing about themselves, mm. right? There isn't this reflective capacity going on. Yeah. They just want to see different classes of relating, especially romantic courtship and different classes and ways of being, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Find that curious? Very. Watch out for the door. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, so what do you think of your initial judgment then there? I got duped. What? I got duped. You got duped? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got conned. Yeah. Oh, is that equally true here? Here in the open and you're going along and you end up with crocodiles in uh, the most dangerous place to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dream kind of saying, wake up, there's dangers around here. Yeah. Hmm. 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 By the way, do you know people that are like AIs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are you going to do with them? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Okay, take a few minutes out to read it, please. I'm staying. From Sean and Arfila, this is a Christmas card. Wow. wow. Beautiful.
Okay, when you're ready, go ahead. Want me to read it? Read it out loud, please. <coughs> I was up to something. Uh, I was doing something, taking some kind of important next step. For some reason, I either I needed my parents' approval, permission, or I was just telling them about it. Not sure which one. Either way, I was choosing a route to go, which didn't involve going to university. My mum was there too, but I was sitting down with Ephraim, and I had already talked to my mother. I think she was already on board. Now it was time to talk to him, and he was asking me some questions. He was trying to elicit some specific, something specific out of me, so that he could then prove that I was wrong, or something like that. I was like, why don't you just stop all the bullshit? You obviously have something on your mind. Why don't you just say what you have on your mind? He kind of thinks about it for a while, and then he looks at me and he says, university is the best possible thing for you to do. It's so wonderful, you have to do it. There's nothing better for you. It would be great if you did it. And I'm just like, I get up and I walk away. I want to show him how ridiculous what he's saying is. As I'm walking away, uh, Bahia is saying something to him. She's reasoning with him somehow. So then I come back and I'm trying to think of a way that I can put this. A way that I can say it to him. So I say, Okay, listen. Listen, Ephraim. I'm really staring in, in, in his eyes. I'm really staring hard into his eyes. And I go, what you just said to me is like your dad walking up to you and saying, Ephraim, and I'm really staring hard into his eyes. I'm really trying to drive this point home and be as certain sounding as I can be. I, gra I grab him by the side of his arms, holding him. I say, it's like your dad saying, Ephraim, don't buy a new 2016 Toyota. Buy this 1925 Ford. It's much better for you to buy this 25 Ford. It's way better. It's wonderful. At this point, I'm holding his head in my hands, and I'm looking into his eyes and saying this. And then I say, University was good at one point a long, long time ago, but it's completely outdated now. And I'm really shaking his head, trying to really get it into him. No, yeah. what do you make of it? Uh, my my problem my problem with it is that I can't quite remember um, whether or not I needed I actually needed their approval or their no. permission. Okay. Okay. Because uh, if I didn't, okay. If I didn't need the approval, then all this trying to convince my dad would be unnecessary. No. Good. No. Uh, how are you doing? Well, I, I don't see what happens at the end, so I don't know. Oh. But as far as you go, what grade would you give yourself? Like this is an example when you're trying to convince your father. You already yeah. have with your mother. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you doing? Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like the way that I'm going about it. Oh, why? What's wrong with it? I, even, I was enjoying it, admiring it. What do you find weak about it? Um. <laughs> It seems um, well. The, the 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 biggest thing is, I'm not quite sure if I even need his. Apart from that, we got that. Okay. Um, well, it's it's not really. <laughs> I, I'm just like yelling at him. I'm not really 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, she'll give a grade. How you doing? I would say F. Oh, oh. Uh, I just, f um, for the methodology. Yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with the methodology. Yeah. By the way, what state of you are were you in in the dream when you made your first remark as compared with the second? The first <coughs> one was making the comparison between the Ford and the Toyota, was it not? Yeah. What was it like making that point to him, doing what you were doing with him or to him? You got a state of mind? Your? It's like, um, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty, it's like pretty forceful. It's, um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm trying too hard. I'm like, uh, uh, it's almost like, it's almost desperate. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Compared with a second? Um, I think it might be the same. Okay. But, uh, uh, how are you functioning with him at that moment and the dream? It's like, hmm? um, like, like a, as a, like a brute. As a brute, yeah. right, 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 right. Eldar the brute, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, do you show an understanding of what's going on behind this issue? Yeah. This is the issue. Yeah. Yeah. What I do, is, I do show an understanding. You think? I do show an understanding. What, how do you address this issue in the dream? Well, I, I give him the, um, the comparison with the cars. Uh, and uh, what do you say in the second remark, please? That it um, that it's outdated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, is that clear to him, or would you have to make that clear if you wanted to communicate? Uh, I don't think this would be enough. Oh, uh, did you, I mean, you did say it was outdated, but you didn't say in what way or? Yeah. 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 I mean, um, I, I don't think he, gr he grasps that concept enough for him to, uh, to, to agree with me. Well, and therefore, you took this approach. Since you have a view of him that it would be impossible for him to understand the reasonings behind your second remark, you play the brute. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Mm. Yeah, mm. I, I, I wanted. Uh, yeah. yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of a. Maybe I thought that um, this was the way to get through to him. Um, Did it? I don't think we know. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, but. There's, there's no... See, that's what's interesting. This is the same as the other dream, right? It has yet to continue, right? Because you don't know the effect. So it has that futurity to it, right? That's right. Yeah. But in terms of itself, 
It wasn't a success. Yeah. 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 Uh, by the way, have you been playing the role of the brute recently? In the way in which you defined it in terms of this dream only? Hmm. Could you put someone else in the chair of your father? <clears throat> Not sure. Yeah, okay, just wondering. Right. How can I... Uh, Pardon? How can I find out? Ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, have you found yourself engaging in anyone in the past couple of days before that dream where you were functioning like Eldar the Brute in respect to some issue that you didn't think the people understood sufficiently to level with them, so you took recourse to the two tones and manner of being. Is that familiar to you? In other words, how, when have you seen yourself like this? Where, when? I've I've been like that before uh, with my dad. Oh, okay. Anyone nearby, or you're free just with your dad? Makes a big difference. You mean recently? Like yeah. Other yeah. than. I can't put my finger on. I can't put my finger on the scene. Okay, it may, you may not be there. It may only be a way in which you're relating with your father. But then, if anyone is functioning like your father, you may continue to play in that way. That's the problem, you see. If if somebody's functioning like my dad, then I might continue. Yeah. Not like your dad holding the position that there's something that they think very highly of, but you recognize that it's outdated and no longer has that value. I don't know. It's well, find it. You just do as much as you can. You know, yeah. that's all. I mean, uh, uh, but this is a way of trying to persuade someone harshly, and uh, as long as you can recognize that that's possible with your dad and maybe not anyone else, then. It, however, if someone is in a position psychically as your dad, you're most likely to play out the same drama. Let's hope it doesn't occur, of course. I would like to know if it, if it, if it is occurring. Huh? I would really like to know uh, yeah. whether it is. Yeah. Because yeah. I know... Yeah. That, I By know the way, uh, uh, do you happen to know some women? Not mm -hmm. only men, also women? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Ever relate <laughs> to one of them in this way? Sit them down, tell them what the truth is? Tell them your, what, what's on their mind? What's on your mind? Hey! Let me tell you the truth about something. <laughs> Grab and look them in the eye. I mean, that whole routine that ever take place. And I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> then, see, what makes what makes this curious is that you don't have any comparison that can match the figures. Okay, that's the way it is. I have like a, a feeling like maybe, but I can't uh, point at a scene. Like, it's kind of like 
that um, that state of mind that I'm in in the dream. Yeah, the, we called it the brute. The elder, the brute. Um, like the, the flavor of that state of mind, I feel like it it is present with this one girl, but you know, n not to this degree. But I I would like to. Um, I, I just can't think of a scene. Yeah. So the two virtues. One is you were able in the dream and the past to relate with your mother, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the problem is with him. And because presumably he has what we would call an outdated view, in your, but you're not addressing to him just why it is that it's outdated and how to see it as outdated, things of that nature, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that comparison between the Toyota and the, right, <laughs> and the, the Ford was interesting, right? That made the point. Yeah. Uh, did it? Um, no. I mean, it may be true, but it's, it's not enough to make the point. Because it doesn't relate to let, letting him see that that you're really talking about the university. Right? Yeah. It's avoiding. It's, it, it's not personal. It's avoiding putting into words in what way is it outdated. Yeah. I was... Um, right. Yeah. Well, and also, we don't actually get the affirmative of what he wants to go towards. That's right. We don't, we, it's not like, hey dad, that, that might be a good option, but let me tell you about what, what I'm thinking about. Um, if you're presenting your yeah, choice yeah, to your parents. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, putting my voice in. It's, uh, I'm just kind of trying to deny his. his. Well, the analogy works, the, the lack of clarity is in the two sides of the analogy, right? You, right, you're not saying what is outdated about the university, That's right. comparable to the 1925 Ford, and you're not saying what the 2016 Toyota would be equivalent to, right, which is Josh's point. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the analogy yeah. is incomplete. Yeah. I kind of assume... Uh, like what would happen if Pop had said, okay, uh, explain that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, the two cars. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be good. I mean, then yeah, we could yeah, talk yeah, about it. Of course, they'd get him to think, and we, that's part of the question. We don't know whether he can think, but according to your judgment, yeah. I, I, I was, um, I don't know if this is uh, yeah. related, but I was, um, having dinner the other night with a new person and um, she comes to mind for some reason when when I'm looking at this because she's into um, psychology and um, um, I had a, I had that feeling of like I was trying to get through to her. Yeah. Uh, but um, but I, I wasn't really. Uh, I, I wasn't really doing. It's it's kind of similar like this. It's kind of. Um, I, I wasn't really doing it in any uh, structured or. Uh, very rational way. It was more just like uh, shooting blindly mm -hmm. or something. Um, if that's true, what do you think the dream is telling you? Well, that um, that that's not the way to yeah. get through to someone. Yeah. 
and especially especially not that kind of person or well uh, yeah you've got to find creative ways to get through right yeah yeah I think that was it I think yeah yeah, curious, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're Very looking forward to the next dream you have. Yeah. To see where it goes. Thank you. Need another one. You got one? Let's go. Good, Thank good, you. good. My pleasure. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> We'll do it when we get home. Okay, would you read it, please? Sure. I'm a police officer of some sort of federal agent, and I've captured Hannibal Lecter. For some reason, he's either in my house or some safety house, and I'm, like, guarding him. We've had all these discussions. He was hunting somebody else. 
I've done all this work to discover him and find him. As we are together, I really don't know why, but somehow I let him go free or am negligent. I am negligent and I don't lock his cage or his jail cell, and he gets out. As he gets out, or got out, I see myself talking. Why is it okay for him to get out? And I let him out, I should say, and I let him out. It seemed conscious that I let him out. I was going through this discussion asking, what am I doing? I just let this killer out there. He's going to go out there and kill again. Once he is out there, I will find him. No, I won't find him again. This man is a master of disguise or getting away from things. Now I have to go get him. So I go back in the house and I get a knife, a butcher knife, and I start walking around. As I walk out towards him, I notice the butcher knife has a sheet on it, sheath on it. He comes to me and I say, hey, you know, Dr. Lecter, you're going to have to go back in your cage. Go back in your cell. I can't let you do this. I can't let you go. You're going to just kill again. You might even hunt me down and try to kill me. He is in like slacks and a white shirt and a leather jacket. As I come up to him, towards him, he says, well, Joshua, I can't do that. I can't let you do that. I can't go back, back in that cage. I say, no, you have to go back in that cage. I go towards him, and I think he has a knife in his hand. I notice the sheath on my knife, and I take it off. As he comes towards me, he lunges me, and I block his arm and stab him, tw him in his ribs twice. As I walk away, I am wondering still, why did I do that? Why did I let him out? What is that? What convinced me that it was okay to let him go? Then I realized that he is on the ground and I haven't really done anything to secure him. Then I was imagining that he is so incredible that he could sew himself up. He can still escape. I need to go back and make sure that he is not going to escape or is dead. I don't remember going back. I woke up. Hmm. Three dreams, the same conclusion, right? Something is established that is going on and we don't know what's going to happen as it goes on, right? So anyway, what do you make of this rather interesting dream? Disturbed, really disturbed that like I'm negligent in some way and set up the conditions for this psychopath to escape twice, even after I did it once in the dream. Mm -hmm. you know, and like, I walk away from it incomplete and allow it there to still be a danger. Like, he could still be a danger, no. even after I stabbed him, I mean. Uh, what is that state of mind when you ask those questions? <coughs> Shock, astonish, angry. Ang uh, what? Angry, what? Yeah. Shocked, astonished. Shocked. Uh, yeah, why is it okay for, why, and why did I let him out, like, shocked, disbelief, angry, shocked, yeah, more, um, it's like a mixture of curiosity and, uh, like, I want to know, I do really want to know why I did that in the dream. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You see how often the word why comes up? Yeah. Why did I do that? Why did I let him out? What is that? What convinced me that it was okay to let him go? Even as I'm setting up the conditions for him to get out again. <laughs> like those questions are stopping me from finishing my duty of securing him or guarding him, which I failed at. I'm setting up conditions for him to escape again. To escape again. And huh? and, and you're and looking at that menace. and you're saying why, yeah, why, why am I, I doing that? Yeah. yeah, why am I doing that? Right? It's yeah. a great question, right? And I think there's a little line in the dream that helps me kind of see yeah, maybe well, why. Yeah. I say, oh, once he's out there, I will find him. Like I'm 
convinced I can still go get him again. But then I quickly say, no, I, no, I won't find him. The man is a master of disguise or getting away from things. There's panic, panic. There's panic in the dream. In the last paragraph, is that idea present or absent? The panic or which? As I walk away. I'm wondering still, why did I do that? Why did I let him out? Oh, that's the same state as before. Mm -hmm. Of wondering why I'm negligent or let him go free. Yeah. And at the same time, it seemed conscious that I let him out. Yeah, it was unclear in the dream, like... Right. I'm still conscious that I did that, so it isn't Twilight Zone. I'm conscious I did it. Yeah, I don't remember actually, like, thinking, oh, I'll let him out. But, like, I saw that I didn't lock his cage. Like, like he went in his cage, and even, I say the word cage a bunch, like, rather than jail. Like, he's in his cage, and I, like, shut the door and just walk away. And, like, I even see, like, in the moment, I'm like... I'm not locking his cage. And I was like, oh, that's okay. That's fine. And just walked away. Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't awake in that moment to like yeah. the, the <clears throat> second state, the yeah. why, the why am I letting him out? Like that yeah. came. Why did I do that? Why did I let him out? What is that? What convinced me that it was okay to let him go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. After. After and I watched I, myself, like, do it, set up the conditions for him to get out, like... Yeah. yeah. And the state of mind you're in is angry and shocked. Is that right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and somewhat apparently puzzled. Yeah. It looks puzzled. I don't know if yeah. I really am. And in the last paragraph, what do you see? Besides that I did it again? Yeah, you didn't even secure him. No. Right? No. So, I just and he's a master of disguise, and he can transform himself in a variety of shapes. Yeah, yeah. So you're wondering why you let that someone out. Yeah. 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 Especially somebody as psychopathic. Yeah. Psychopath yeah. murderer. Yeah. Is this yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And there I am setting up conditions for him to escape again. <laughs> yeah, pretty terrible federal agent here. Yeah, and you're seeing that. This is seeing, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like the, this is going on, and you're saying, why, you know, hey, why, why, why am I doing, what, 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 all of the whys, what, right? I don't know if it's seeing a very great object, but it's seeing something. Down makes me wonder why I'm allowing the conditions for that to continue. And you're blocked in understanding. Oh, I had in the dream there is no yeah. answer yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. And so it may be that the uh, drama is yet to play itself out, right? <laughs> he may yet escape, right? So just like the other dreams, right? <laughs> Going on. Undoubtedly. Yeah. Well, it makes me think of the Path of Logos. Oh, like uh, why is that? Oh, because of his ability to cause havoc and menace and destroy things and shapeshift in that sense and become something. Yeah. You know, use, mirac use amazing intelligence. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say more about that. Uh, just in all the different ways my pathologos can come back at me. Yeah. All the ways it sabotages mm -hmm. and can undermine my pursuit of my goals. Sure. Or the states sure. of mind I want. Yeah. And I felt recently I've been doing a good job of Getting off the wagon. Managing them, yeah, like I captured them. They, they had had a nice little spot, like, where they were safe. Hmm. And contained in the uh -oh. cage, yeah. What does that tell you? Um, 
not so safe and contained, not locked down with understanding. It's more work to do on yeah. some of these scenes. You had a good idea. Now see whether you can deal with it. Okay, one question. Mm -hmm. In the dream, when you're asking those questions, right? Look at mm -hmm. the trees. Yes. At the time you're in the dream, at that time, right? What is it like? Come on, state of mind. What is that like? Why is it okay for him to get out and I let him out? Yeah. Uh, what is that like? Besides shock and anger? Uh, what if that means, what effect did it have on you when you raised those I questions? was puzzled. More. Like, I was really confused. And what else was I? Let's see. Puzzled, confused, gone. Where did physically, where did it hit? Any special? Um, actually, my head. Leg? No, my head. Head, like, yeah. a, like a what? Uh, like, like an explosion. Like an explosion. Like a concussion bomb went off. I'm like, no, I like that. It's like an explosion, to, right? Yeah, like More. a concussion bomb, like concussion bomb. In that sense, shock, like it's reverberating through me. Yeah, it's got my entire mind. Got your entire yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. It's got you. Yeah. Even the last scene again. It's got my entire mind so much. I don't secure him. Yeah. I'm so. Yeah turned away from the situation again. Yeah, I'm going to repeat some of the words you said. Uh, what comes to your mind as you consider them? Is, it was like an explosion. It was like being totally puzzled and confused. Uh, uh, yet in a way I was shocked and angry, but uh, uh, it's like a concussion bomb that had that kind of power. Uh, where does that go back to? Hmm. All right, let me see which one. <laughs> um, Anyone will do. If you, now, it's your judgment whether you want to push it on this level now or not. I don't know. We'll see. See if I can come up with something. Well, would you agree you've been in this kind of state before? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, been in that yeah. state. So there's more than one occasion, but each of them has a certain consequence. Mm hmm I know that's a mixture of states from one of my past scenes. Good. That's actually a mixture of states, mm -hmm. which is, um, I don't know what, I don't know if I have a name for this one. I could tell you the scene if you like. Um, third grade. And I've been sent to the principal's office. I've, in class, I was in class and open and happy. And I had been doing mathematics, actually, and very clear. I, I understood the material. And I understood it so much, it, like, it made me really high, like energetically high. I was ecstatic that I could see the problems in my mind. I remember. I remember seeing the problems in my mind, like, like, wow, this is amazing. I can see the whole problem in my mind. Right, and right, right. then I'm done, done with the work, because I power through it. I'm so stoked that I always had that ego of he knew what was going on. And I was, I remember how shocked it was to see him completely feeble, weak. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're functioning like him in the dream. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a family heirloom. Yeah. 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 That follow through part. Like it's yeah. somehow there's no follow through. <laughs> that just ends it. And and doesn't really get back to even what was going on. He never even asked, like, what happened in the classroom. 
So, he nor was a, did the principal. I know those a holes. I'm sorry. Right? They, yeah, I know. They, By they the way, no then understanding. No one, no one knew that you were in an excellent state of mind. No, I got punished. Right? Yeah. Because that's a pretty sophisticated state of mind. Oh. Right? Fortunately, I've recovered it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was amazing. You had the answer all along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened to it? Uh, well, I mean, in one sense, I was intimidated. Here are these two men talking about me yeah. in front of me, and they're so clear about how much of a nuisance I am, uh, and apparently really giving the teacher a hard time. Uh, I didn't any. And they're giving the teacher a hard time? Me. Well? I'm are. giving the teacher a hard time because I'm out of control in the classroom. Like, that's what, he's out of control. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could have blew the whole thing up if I was, you know, the bravest third grader in the world and be like, excuse me, uh, I actually was done with my homework and feeling pretty happy. Yeah, and, and I have it all together, and uh, why don't you wake up? Yeah, that would be like, the Buddha yeah. walking when he was born. Yeah, but that would be getting out of the influence of dad. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's a pretty absent dude in my childhood in terms of like actually being there around our house. So it's kind of amazing that like he worked nights. Mm -hmm. So he was at home during the day and that he was the one that got the phone call that day to come in. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember ever doing homework with him or working on schoolwork or any of that kind of stuff. So it was kind of odd even that he was there. Like, yeah. I, like <clears throat> showed up to care about my education that much. And, and I got sent home. I was sent home from school that yeah, day. It looks like they didn't put me back in the classroom. It looks like this was the background of the home life. What do you mean? Well, it looks like he was that way more than once. Tuned out, negligent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a milieu. Oh. I see it, yeah. Yeah. I oh, see it now. Yeah. No avenue, he had no avenue to connect to us. Like really, he was, he was into being super cop. That was his. Then what's the significance of the fact that the dream is portraying you functioning like your dad? Uh, that I'm probably creating those conditions in my own kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically so, probably creating the conditions in my own kids. Yeah. Yeah, see the question is why are you having the dream? It's a beautiful dream. Mm. You now see that, right? Like you're functioning the way your father did to you. Mm -hmm. and now you're wondering whether you're functioning in a similar way to your own children. Right. Because uh, it's on my mind to change that. Like, it's on my mind to, like, uh, overcome that in my family. I run into this stuff every day in one sense. It's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to figure out what I need to do with myself and my kids to stop the things that I see continuing in my family. Yeah. Like, it's a conscious. That's right. That's yeah. right. right. How to get out from underneath the teaching of Papa or yeah. anyone else. Totally. There's only one way. You have to hold on to your sin. <laughs> right. Yeah, in the dream, I, d I captured him. I hunted him down and captured him. So that capacity is there. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. The only way out is to push excellence. Demand it of your children. <laughs> I have been demanding it of my children, but I think I'm just continuing that uh, no what the good. hell is going on state. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't, all those questions are actually very great questions, but they're impotent. Sure. They're, they yeah. have no. They're uh, the right questions. Yeah. But there's they're, no mythology behind it. Well, and they're lost really in that just flabbergasted puzzled them. There's no, there's nothing beyond that. It's just like a, it gets into the wash of confusion of, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it just leaves me stung. Mm -hmm. 
and not active in that sense. Uh, yes or no, you're acting on a very high level. It is not true that you're not achieving your goal. You're not able to hold on to it. Uh -huh. Not only that, you struggle with them to get them back into the soul. Yeah. Hey, you're active. You're recovering. Hey, you're recovering right. from him. I like all of that. I'm just dubious of the fact right. that, like, great, I'm functioning with excellence after I created the conditions for the problem to be there. Yeah. Like, that's kind of... Yeah. And now that you know all of this, we want to know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Will you be able to secure him? See, you've done everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's not that you're like him. He's not doing a damn thing. True. I do actually go find him. Yeah. Like, I, once I realize I do find him, he's not very far. Wait, where? He's on like the driveway or something outside the house. You mean in the last paragraph? No, no the first after the first it, time. It's out of the dream. It's out of the statement. It's, it's not a, is it in the dream? Where do you go find So it? I go back in the house and I get a knife and I start walking around. As I walk out towards him, I notice the butcher knife has a sheath on it. Like he was like on the driveway. Okay, that part. Yeah. Oh yeah, even when he attacks me, I show like skillful means to block his knife attack and like st two perfect symmetrical stabs in him like I see it in my mind which I'm not too happy about that see what's interesting is that the two days later you have the last dream <laughs> right Please take a look at it and read it. What does that do to this scene? <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is the end of the dream. The prior part was me holding a question and working out a question like a woman I was interested in but couldn't have in the dream, and we were discussing that. Uh, in this part of the dream, I'm holding the space like a cube. I see it. I see it in me and around me. The cube is strong. It's powerful. It's sturdy and firm and big. By holding this cube in me, uh, this space, I can reflect through it and use it as a place to look at ideas. But then also I see somehow in the dream that it is rigid and unchangeable. It is unbreakable, firm, and does, not, and does allow me to have some sort of openness to hold space and be, op and be strong, but it doesn't. It's unyielding. There is something about it not changing, not changing to... Like when I want to change my way of thinking, it still stays firm and solid. In the dream, I was looking at that, looking at it in me, looking at how it functioned or looking at the dynamics of it and just seeing it in me and my relationship and how I was thinking in the dream. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, are you talking yeah. about the second dream? Wasn't there one down there? Oh, well, I thought you said the last dream. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that one, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I am well in the middle of the dream. Somebody asked me this question. Have you ever cared for anything? Have you ever even cared for anything? Have you ever cared for a soul? It was one question, by the way. I just... No. I, that was me reaching for the question. The way I heard that, that question was like, have you ever cared for the soul of someone? Have you ever nurtured someone or something? To which I answer, yes. Yes, I have. What follows is this seemingly super fast passage of some long amount of time. The dream seems to go in fast forward motion, like time lapse video showing a very long amount of time in a short time span. During that time, I'm taking these people or a person to the beach, to the mountains, the snow, and doing all these things to care and nurture for them. In the end, I said, see, yes, I have. The question seemed like a challenge or a proof that I had done this. This was a demonstration that I had done it. I remember the questions. Then I said yes. Then the time lapse happened at the same time as the yes. Then I woke up. What happens now to the questions in the stream? They get, they get an answer. They get an answer. Yeah, they get an answer. Yeah. Uh, well, what else do you find? Come on. Well, I, first of all, the state of mind was pretty amazing. And it's been one I've been kind of looking at, which is, <coughs> how to see something in the 
past, present, and future all at once. Um, but I do wonder if my if it, the answer was really me nurturing something. Uh, more than that, come on, nurturing the soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm caring for something by bringing it to these places. But if I were to say, is that nurturing a soul? I'd be like, not really. No, that's right. Like that's just yeah. more like babysitting. Right, like. right, right. And that's so fair. when I thought about the dream, I was like, yeah. that state of mind was pretty awesome. Yeah. But. Um, I don't really see the nurturing part in there. That's right. Not yeah. the soul. No, no, no. No. Well, well, I mean, it says doing all these things to care and nurture for them. Is that dependent on bringing them to the beach and the mountains and the snow, or have you not shared what those things are in the dream? Remember, it has to relate to the soul. And the dream, right? I'm a little confused. Like, what do you mean by doing all of these things? Care and nurture. Is, was there content on that, or are the things the beach bringing to the beach, the mountains? The Those snow, were the things that I could remember in the dream. That yeah. are the objects of care and nurture. Yeah. Okay. Like, I was asked that question, and then this like movie scene gets played out in front of me. This time lapse movie scene, and those were some of the things I remembered during that time. I mean, I can't come up with any more at this moment, so. You make a judgment in the dream, don't you? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. That answers which question? Whether I'm taking care of their soul? <laughs> it's supposed to. It's supposed to, because the way I took the question was, uh, have you ever nurtured someone or something? Have you ever, the way I heard the question was like, have you ever cared for the soul of someone? Have you ever nurtured someone or something? No. Yeah. So that was supposed to be an, a demonstration. Graded. D minus? Because what's missing? Well, they're alive. So <laughs> uh, what's missing is that, is their mind. Is there, what? Is any is them in their development? Where does it show you're helping them develop the mind? It doesn't. Pardon? Me? It doesn't. Oh. That's why it's missing. Yeah. It, well, it all depends on the dream. See, it could be the way you wrote it down. Uh huh. But is there the sense that you're aware that you're being asked whether or not you have helped nurture the soul? Are you aware of the fact that the, the answers that you gave during the time, as it said in your, in your dream, that there's nothing specifically about nurturing No, in the soul. dream I'm not. I but, believe my answer in the dream. So therefore, what is it like in the dream when you say, yes, I have, because we're now looking at that and have to judge that answer? That was like... I've met your challenge. Challenge, challenge, that was like, yeah, like, they challenged, the question was like a challenge to me. Like, hey, you ever cared for somebody's soul? And then the answer was supposed, supposed to be, although it wasn't. Was it an answer? No. I mean, I took it in the dream as an answer. I really did believe it, like, see, that's it, I did. And what was that like? Finished, complete, done. Um, Proof. It was like proof. See, we're asking whether in the dream, whether there's any sense that there is anything missing no. in what you did. No. In other words, you accepted what you were doing. It as was clear a that the nurturing of the soul. Yeah. In my in my state in the dream, yeah. I thought that was yeah. an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore. What was it like when you gave that answer becomes the important part of the dream? It was enough. I mean, it was Come on, more. Simple. It was enough. Come like, on, more. It was enough. It was enough. It was simple. It was complete and done. Like, there was nothing. Simply done? Yeah. There was no more. I mean, the dream ended. It was like, yep, that's it. And clear. In the dream, it seemed clear. 
See, when I said, yes, I have, mm -hmm. the state of mind that accompanied that, that was, it was enough, mm -hmm. simple, done. Yeah, and yeah. also, there was an aspect of, I'm struggling for that, I just had the word. Um, there was an aspect of, like, one-upsmanship. Therefore, now like, that you're putting that in, what does that mean for us? What does that mean? Yeah, like, does, is that a, like it was an a challenge. excellence or... Uh, is one-upmanship a certain quality of work or a behavior? They had brought a charge against me. Their question, the tone of the question was not one of like philosophical inquiry. It was like a challenge. And like I had matched their challenge. Okay. That's what the answer was see, like. It has to be your answer, right? But notice the words you're using allows us to raise a question, and you have to see whether it fits the dream or okay. not. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Would you say you gave yourself an A when you said it was enough? Oh yeah. Is that a mark of an A? It was enough. Is that a mark of an A outside the dream or in the dream? In the dream, it was a mark that it, I had. I had answered and given these scenes as examples. And so. you were, and in the dream you're satisfied? And yeah. the state of mind you're in at that time was, you're saying clear? Yeah, in the dream, yeah. No, see, so we have to go by your experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. in the dream I thought it was clear to me that that yeah. was an answer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, now we can look at the two dreams together what do you see as the difference? Um, one, I still actually try to go on and act on what I see yeah. and change it. And the other one is impotent. It stops yeah. and in fact doesn't even recognize the deficiency of the answer. That's right. Yeah, it's the first dream you say you have the deficiency of the answer? The second one. The second one? Yeah. Because in the first one you have an insight, so you say, why am I doing this, but you don't act on it. I still go back to try to find him, though. Yeah, but then each time you ask yourself why, and you got him, mm -hmm. but then you don't secure it. You this is true. I don't even have a question in the second one. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's like diluted. Joshua, can you compare the uh, answer that you gave about that you saw that it was clear when you said that it was um see yes i have is that one mm -hmm. when you answered them yes i have to when you said that you did your math problem in third grade mm -hmm. and you saw that you were done and mm -hmm. that it was good mm -hmm. and you were happy with it can you compare those two things together? Oh, well, they're different. Okay, in what respect? The one in the dream doesn't go anywhere. It just, it ends. When I was younger, that was open. Like, I was still pretty ecstatic. After doing the mathematics, I was still pretty mm -hmm. open and happy. And this one is like, ha, see, I told you I'd care for something. Like, it's more about stopping their question, I guess, or answering their challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge to me in the dream. Oh. So, to compare the two? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one when I was younger, I didn't really care about my state of mind and relationship to anybody else in that passing, in the, in the sense of like, I didn't need to show anybody my mind state. I was just in it and happy. Whereas this one was like a charge against me as a nurture or caretaker. No. And when I said yes, that was it. I mean, the dream completely just ended. The whole thing. They asked me the question, the time lapse, 
see, and then I wake up. Like, mm -hmm. I was astonished at the time lapse. That's, that was kind of weird to watch. See, the force of the question that's being asked is, uh, uh, what, what did this do to your experience in the third grade, gaining a good insight into the mathematics and enjoying breaking through the puzzle? What did that do to your interest in mathematics from that point on? Did you approach it in the same way, or did that turn it off? I was pretty into it. I so liked yes, it. you continued it. Yeah. So it didn't interrupt it. The past scene didn't interrupt it? No, 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 no. And the third, the no. scene with your father and the principal did not terminate your interest in mathematics. Uh, well, it actually for, it took me a long time to recover that scene. Okay. Actually, I mean, yeah. I still liked it. I still, still did like mathematics. I did not excel. I didn't take honors courses or anything. I took a pretty traditional route through my mathematics. It didn't push me. In fact, when I entered high school, I was in basic mathematics. No. So, and I did. That was kind of me as a student, though. Was just what did I have to do to get, get my grades? No. So it did. It did take me away from that. Yeah. Yeah. It took yeah. me away from the, the insight state. That, and we're wondering whether you approach that in the second episode, the episode we're now looking at. If we approach. Yeah. That state. How similar it is, or is it still different? I'm confused. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, we're just talking I'm, about that you gave up something for a, a good deal of time. You mm -hmm. lost something. Yeah, yeah I did. Right. So yeah. is this state similar to that one in the past? That's what we're asking. Part of it is, the time lapse part of it is, like, I remember seeing, it was long division, I literally remember seeing the question and like this projection of the answer through my mind. Okay. Of all the steps. And it looks like that this learning scene is now coming back in your life through your dreams. Totally. And that's rather important, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. how? Oh, yeah. I've been having it more in my waking life. Like, yeah. of being in that state and seeing mm. steps playing themselves out and Thing, the reasoning, reasoning in one sense, play themselves out. Good, yeah. yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good. I like that part. Please. Just one more. Uh, you know, I, I remember we were focusing a lot on the first dream on like how you're not doing good, but I don't think enough was said about the fact that you're like, uh, you got a special, I mean, he needs a badge, right? Like you have a special relationship with Hannibal Lecter, right? I mean, here it says you captured him, you've done all this work to discover and find him, right? Like, as if they're different steps. So, and you're very effective fighting back against him even when you drop the ball, right? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you're a federal agent, you're a what? Police. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, you have a relationship of duty with respect to him. Okay. And highly effective, at least at first, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's no, I hear you. Curious where that no. might go. No, it's okay. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Pleasure. Let's take a break and then come back and do some work. <laughs>